Leg two of moving tails up. So after we made the trip from Sarasota to Punta Gorda and then Punta Gorda to Isla Morada, we uh, went down to Isla Morada for Thanksgiving, which was about six weeks later uh, with my parents. Mm -hmm. And we just spent some time on the boat. We took my parents out on the boat for the first time, watched some sunsets, which was really fun. And then we had to get down to business. Is that the way you do it or do you do it this way? Does it matter? Good, good job. Yes, thank you, thank you. Have hey, one. who got both lines first time? Who, who, I got it, I got it, oh I did. Oh, I it to you, saw, you showed me, did you send it to me? I, I don't know. Did you video it? Oh, well, no, but it was a this was the Friday after Thanksgiving. Uh, we immediately went to the fuel dock for fuel for our voyage and for a pump out. Uh, the pump out key was not working previously, so Mike had to do a little surgery, but we finally got it uh, working and it took a while to do the pump out because it hadn't been done. Uh, so, you know, filling up a diesel boat of this size, <laughs> uh, the the tank is about 600 gallons of diesel fuel, so um, it is no small task, and usually takes about an hour to get it filled up. We were originally planning with going um, out of Snake Creek because we were just comfortable with that route in the Keys. Uh, there's a lot of flats and with the draft that we need, we just didn't know what it was like heading north. However, the captains at the dock said uh, it is completely fine to go north. The, the one gentleman there had a sailboat that had a five foot draft and he said, no problem, just stay in the channel. So we headed up uh, and the one bridge had plenty of clearance. We need about 33 feet with our outriggers up. Fun thing about this going under this bridge is that we saw some dolphin. So just to give a little bit of a background, uh, if you are not familiar with the Florida Keys, um, there is the channel that can take you up. You can go all the way, you know, on the intercoastal, all the way up to where we were going. However, um, with the bridges and the bridge heights, we had to be, uh, you know, we had to go out on the Atlantic side. From there, we just headed up. We stayed inshore uh, through and went through, you know, Biscayne Bay, and we finally spotted Miami. Uh, Miami was really interesting, especially as we were crossing over to the Atlantic side. There's like these little houses. Um, some of them were destroyed. Some of them were fine. But one thing we know is that the birds liked them. Once we got out onto the Atlantic, it was pretty rough. Uh, we went from Miami to Lake Worth. So we are heading into Lake Worth Inlet. shocked at how many boats were in the anchorage there. I mean, there had to have been at least 500 sailboats, uh, either anchored or moored. But it was a beautiful sunset, and luckily we found a spot to drop anchor um, that was close enough to the channel that we would be able to get out early in the morning uh, and had enough clearance so that if we were to swing at all during the night, we would not have any issues. So, you know, my job is to put the anchor down, <laughs> uh, which is pretty easy uh, because we do have foot pedals. Just have to make sure that I know when Mike is ready for me to drop it and give him hand signals about where the anchor is falling. Bottom. Oh, 
Hold it there. Huh? Hold it there. On bottom. No. Okay, keep coming. everything correctly because I have no idea what I'm doing and he is the experienced one uh, but it was I think I actually did a pretty good job but when you're in an anchorage and there's lots of boats around you you certainly want to make sure that you are secured our fancy chicken salad and wine. Then, you know, just hang out for the night. Okay, so we are about to leave Lake Worth to do the final part of the journey up to Vero Beach. So we're going to pull anchor, um, just got the engine started, and here we go. It's a little chilly today. What you see me doing here is just shaking all the crud off of the anchor from being on the bottom all night. Um, just helps keep things cleaner so when that chain comes in it doesn't spew mud everywhere. we realized there was a little bit of a traffic jam, which was actually a really cool experience to see this huge cruise ship come in this tiny little inlet. It's like an off-brand cruise ship. It used to say Costa Classica on the side, but they took it off. Oh, my 
Harbor Marina. What's she eating for breakfast in there? Sour Patch Kids Tropical. Because you're in Florida. Exactly. When in Rome. Not in the Keys anymore. You wouldn't see one of those coming in. <laughs> one of the cuts. We're like, our boat's really small right now. Yeah. <laughs> I do too. We need a bigger boat. Like that size? You just have to hire, like, me a hundred deck hands. We could sell this boat and not afford a quarter of a tank of fuel. <laughs> Once the cruise ship finally passed, we got out of the inlet and on our way up to Sebastian. Now, the weather was nice, but it was windy, which meant we were getting splashed and sprayed and rocked and rolled. So by the time that we saw Sebastian Inlet, we were pretty excited. to Sebastian Inlet. We're sitting out front right now. Mike is checking to make sure everything is good because we only have about two feet of clearance over the bridge. Um, at the bridge. So, almost there. Also, it's super windy and cold. So I have three jackets on. Navigating an inlet, especially for the first time, and especially when it's one like Sebastian Inlet, takes a lot of focus. And uh, Mike was a true professional getting through here. As you can see, I mean, the current was ripping. Um, my parents are up on the bridge, so I was waving to them, uh, but they were welcoming us to Sebastian uh, and taking some pictures, which was really cool but we did make it through the inlet and under the bridge with plenty of clearance and we were happy to get out of the current uh, and to successfully navigate that for the first time. After we made it through the inlet, we just navigated uh, through the channel down to our new home base and uh, we made it and we got docked and started preparations for keeping tails up in its new home base. <laughs> 